So hello there, today we have a lot of work. It's a sunny day, I want to go out, so I have to do it fast. Make Hynorina polyvemus. I have a lot of, the, of them here in this uh, big box. In small containers of 500 milliliters. I have to check them all today just to know whether they have um, pupated, whether they are adults or still larvae that I should add some more uh, substrate. That's the job for the next, I would say, half an hour, but I will make it uh, short, just to show you what I do. Here you can see a place where this is already an emerged adult. Let's see what it is here, how it looks like. So here you see it. Let's go forward and have a look. Oh yeah, it's a freshly emerged male. So what does it mean freshly emerged? It means that the colors of the animal are not yet finished. So that's what you can see now here. Um, the colors on the elutras, they are not yet completed. They have to uh, develop. Like in a photograph where you have to wait until all the chemical processes have been finished and of course this male also it's not yet out of the, of the skin completely but it's nice and it has already folded the wings underneath the elutras but it will n last not long it's completely finished and this is a real beautiful and nice male Metrinorina polyphemus. They don't stay like this, the colors. That's a little bit a pity because they would look very nice like this also. And it's the same also for Torquopta ugandensis that they later change the colors of the elutras. So, and if we go a little bit closer, we can also see that th that, the, that they are not shiny like the females, but satiny on the surface of the pronotum and the and the elytras, but a, a very nice male. So what you can do, we can just put him back into the to, to this little cavity where he comes from, like this, so he can stay here and finish uh, his closure process. But I also put him already in a little case so when he, he wants to come out and eat he can eat something in this little um, terrarium here with the two jellies and also if I find a female in that stage I can add it here too because they need some days now to complete their development also what we can see here very clearly is there's still a larva inside of the box here yeah, that's clearly that we don't, shouldn't uh, touch it and just leave it like this. And so I, I check all the, here also this is a, a pupa of a male here. You all can see already that uh, the part of the head. Also this, we just don't touch it, leave it like this. And uh, that, that's why, how I go through so this. is already started to build a purple tramp. It's still a larva. And that's the job. And if, you, if you've the, uh, everything here also, a larva. And pupa. This is an adult. It should, it is. Uh, probably it is most probably a female. Let's see what it is. Or I've seen it from the other side and it's a male. Let's see. Now it is a female. Looking at it. Sometimes they are very active just when they come out. They are quick and want to escape. Like, oh, come, come. Little time to relax here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nice female. Yeah, of polyphemus. Come for it. This has a slightly reddish 
dot here on the uh, on the elders. It's probably that is not yet finished here with the chemical development of the color and the structure of the elytras. So this lady I I bring together with the other ladies I already have from the other box here is a, a big larva. It uh, looks a little bit pumped up, so that's a sign that it's in the stage of pre pupa and tries to build a pupal chamber in the near future. So we add, I add some more of the new substrate and give the larva here back to her little plastic container. But that's a nice thing, these plastic containers, because you can see from outside what happens inside. Also, this is a larva here. Looks also nice. I add some more of this original food material. It's flex soil with rotten leaves that they can eat also here. And if they need some more. This is also finished adult inside of this box. You see it very clearly from outside. It's a female because it has a shiny look and so that's easy about polyphemus to to check from outside even if it's a female or not so where is it here okay yes and this is put both together here on the same so you can see the difference in the color also now here this is a slightly more yellow and a little bit uh, a reddish touch inside, which is orange holographic shine, typical also for females of polyphemus confluence. So, and now I show you where I bring them. Here I have this terrarium, it's only for the mating purpose that I have some, some leaves. Here I have some uh, beetle jellies in here, and of course I filled it up with a little material from flake soil so that they can dig down. But now in this stage, mostly they want to eat something on these beetle jellies, and they can keep be kept in groups together. The females, uh, and as soon as I have uh, some males, I will bring some males in, and then after about two weeks. I bring them, if I see that they have made it, I bring them in a breeding a box where the females can lay their eggs. So let's look for one more, whether we find a, a male. Here I see something through. through this is, but most probably it's a female. Now let's see what it is here. Oh, it's just in the moment coming out of the skin, so I don't touch it anymore. I just leave it in here. Because otherwise, sometimes if you take them out too early in the middle of the development, that's not good for the animals. And here, I think should be a larva. In this box here, so where do we have this? Or just did it already? Start building a purple chamber. Yes, here it is. So I think this could be already an um, adult inside. Why? I guess that because if I turn it over slightly, I feel that nothing is tumbling inside around, so I, I just can try to open it one side to see whether I have signs. No, this is still a larva. So it's a larva that made this uh, movement, movement that it doesn't 
feels like it it's uh, a lot more inside sometimes when it's pupated you you feel that when you turn it over and here next one big larva put some more of the food now now we wait for one more nice adult and then I think you can imagine what the work is for today. Uh, this is a larva uh, here. This is a pupa. Uh, if you have a look here, it's very clearly you can see the pupa. Sometimes you also can see whether it's a male or female here. This is a larva here because it's a lot of fresh pellets. Here, so this is the same thing I always do, just add new substrate, cover it, and back they go to their breeding, breeding box. Big, a big larva, preparing to mold to a pupa. The pupa chamber is completely built already, we don't touch it. Don't open it, and here should be there's a larva inside here. Now let's see whether we find there's some this pupa. Yeah, here I think could be could be an adult. Let's see. The last one we open for today. The last one, so. Yeah, it's a very nice female. Look at this. Shiny, shiny elytros and this typical holographic orange green tone. An incredible color. If ever you will find it on a car, tell me, because this is something that we can't do at the moment artificially in this quality the structure of a, of a holographic shining color on the and the elytros and of course it's not only color it's also of course structure that breaking the light so that it seems like there are two colors layers of colors over each other but this goes also to the other females into this box and I hope you have success with your beetle breeding too. See you next time. Thanks for watching.